Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how to set up Unreal Engine with Perforce. Go to Unreal Engine Download, download the launcher, Perforce Download, okay, go here scroll down select this and select this so helix core server and helix visual client you're gonna try it for free okay so if you don't want to fill this up just I'm going to lift this uh, leave this into the video description okay so go here, Windows, just select your operating system here, here as well, select the Epic installer, I already have it installed so I don't have to install it again because it's going to take a while so uh, the installation is pretty straightforward you just have to install it and once you're in, you've installed it we have to create a new project so this is how it will look like um, and you're gonna select uh, actually you have to select it from here so you're gonna select launch and then just select uh, a project bear in mind the project location so project name create let's go to the folder okay close this up now let's go to our downloads folder um, I'm going to install the server on my local machine so I'm going to send it to myself and let's install it okay so here I'm going to change my uh, installation directory You should do the same if you want to. Okay, it seems here are some some files. So I'll have to delete these first from the previous uh, installation. Okay, so select the folder next and here we need to select the database I'm gonna do this so perforce perforce new folder server database just uh, choose a descriptive uh, name for your database next uh, username, your username, the port number of the server that you want that you want to use. Hit next, install. Yes. 
click exit and we're done with uh, installing the server now we have to find our IP address for this computer okay so open up a CMD IP config and this is the IP address of this uh, local machine okay write it down somewhere because we're gonna need it um, and now we're we have to install the client change the directory if you want to of course okay just gonna do this select the folder hit next and now we need our IP address of the server okay your username uh, I'll, if you want to you can browse for uh, a better notepad um, but I'm going to show you how to change it from the command line okay so we're done here hit next hit install yes and start p4b we're gonna select new here because we have to create a new user on the server just um, fill this up by the way you have uh, the password is required so you have to add that okay so hit save create a new workspace for the workspace we I'm going to use another uh, root in my case it's gonna be this one Okay, and uh, we're gonna select OK. Select OK again. Now we have to add the files to the server. The files for the server are going to be the our project that we have created in uh, our real engine okay so browse select your project that you already created okay select next select next and select start In the meantime, you're going to go to the Unreal Engine Perforce documentation. I'm going to leave this uh, link into the video description. Scroll down to this section before ignore and we have to create this file select new text document delete, delete all of this uh, including the uh, dot text yes we have to edit this now edit with notepad 
go scroll here copy copy the full snippet and save this click X finish here okay now we have the project I'm going to do a few setup settings here these are optional you don't have to do them if you don't want but I really like to use uh, the, the dark theme Let's restart them. Okay. Now here is our file. And we have to navigate to our workspace files. Where our workspace uh, files are. So programs. In our case, Perforce. As you can see here, it has created this folder with my project in it. We're gonna take this file, paste it in here. We're gonna ref hit refresh in here. It's gonna appear here. And as you can see, I don't think I can zoom this up. But, uh, it, it here it has a plus sign, I or icon. We're gonna we need to uh, add this file to our project. So. Uh, click add click OK and click submit write the description submit ok and now it has a plus icon in our depot, depot you can see also have it in here okay now we have the P4 ignore now we have to configure to add a few configurations in the command line so open up a command line. Here you're gonna select. You're gonna write your username. The server IP address and the protocol. In our case, it is. 4172 you can also see it here okay I should also add it in here just for the sake of consistency okay so 41 Seven two. Now, if you want to do this, it's optional. But I want to use Notepad Notepad plus plus to be able to edit uh, files. Now, this is a critical step. We have to edit the type map. You can also see it. Uh, in the documentation here if you scroll up to p4 type map okay so the commands that I have um, written in here uh, you can also find them in here okay and now we are uh, at this step with the type map we have to confirm configure the type map so p4 type map it's gonna open up open up a file 
you're gonna copy copy the full snippet you're gonna delete everything what, what's in here save it then close the notepad okay if you want to confirm you can type this again and you can see the changes are here okay Now let's see if we are ready to if um, if we are ready to submit some changes in our real engine. Okay. So you're gonna t go to Perforce, my project. Select this file here double click it you're gonna select it from the okay gonna close this okay so your project start up and let's say we want to add a cube okay we want to add another cube we're gonna place it somewhere in here so that it's easy for us to see it okay now you're gonna select this for revision control you're going to select connect to revision control provider you can select perforce and you're gonna select use p for config because we have already configured from uh, with our commands okay what I mean by that are these commands okay so that's how that's how Unreal, uh, Unreal Engine knows what to add in here okay so accept these settings and you will see a pop-up appear that it works um, now we're gonna select save here you're we're gonna select this for unsave save selected everything has saved and here you're gonna select um, you're gonna select submit content okay and you can uh, write also add the description like uh, I have moved the cube around submit okay let's return to perforce select the plus history and if we go to our main line and select date submitted you're gonna see our change in here is in here I have moved the cube around let's exit uh, Unreal Engine and let's see if uh, if our changes are still here so double click our project And as you can see, our cube is in here and is ready to go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, write me in the comments what you, uh, if you struggle with this, uh, with setting this up, so that I can help you. And I hope you guys uh, will be able to set it up successfully uh, and see you later guys cheers bye bye